Hey everybody, I'm Blitz. Welcome to a video on a game called Stories, The Path of Destinies. So this is a tech demo, or a the PAX build actually, of the game. It's got about 15 minutes per playthrough, and it leaves really early in the story, and we could play it a couple times if we wanted to. Um, the game does come out on April 12th, 2016, so in about a month from when this video is going to go up. Uh, I wanted to play it to kind of gauge an interest and see how much you guys would like like to see it because I'm really looking forward to this game and I want to know if you guys will too because it's kind of different than what I typically play. Uh, so we take the role of Renardo who is a fox and he is going against, um, he's in a rebellion against the Mad Emperor and the Emperor is in charge of a, a group of ravens. Uh, he's got a bunch of choices to make and he can pick his own storyline so think maybe a fable where your actions kind of have consequences or your choices have consequences. And then mix it with like Bastion, where it's a heavily narrated storyline, which is why I haven't really played many games like this. They're difficult to let's play, but the storyline is really, really cool. So um, obviously watching a series like this rather than playing it yourself, you'll have stories, but you can see how the different, or you'll have spoilers, not stories. You'll see how the different stories kind of interact and intertwine if you play it one way and I play it a different way. So I did want to play it. Down below in the video description has a whole bunch more information if you are inclined to look at it, as well as some links that you can go check out more information than what I have down there. So let's get into it. We're going to go right into the storyline. We're going to jump right in. All that had been years ago. How many? The war was a blur. And now three Raven scout ships were chasing him. Where are you running, rebel? Cord the Raven captain over the loud hailer. Renato could see them cranking up their catapults. Just going out for milk? Renato yelled back. Where can you run? <laughs> Laughed the raven horribly. Far behind him, another city was burning. The dark cloud above its island was thousands of Imperial ships. The fleet was doing a thorough job. Take us to the rebel base and we'll spare your life! It cawed. The entire jury-rigged rebel fleet was only a few islands to the east. Beyond that were only the Pillars of Heaven, a sea of endless blood-colored tornadoes. The rebellion was out of time, unless Renardo could bring a game-changer. Maybe he could. Renardo had found out where he could find the pieces of the Sky Ripper, the legendary weapon that had exiled the Lost Gods. Surely a legendary weapon could win the final battle. On the other hand, his old friend Lupino had sent Renato a desperate message saying he had a brilliant scheme to save the rebellion. If Renato could only rescue him. Renato dived the farfarer towards the abyss. As he felt the heat of the jet stream, the raven ships peeled off, not stable enough to follow him down there. Now it was time to choose. Lupino or the Sky Ripper. So cool. This is the first main point of the storyline. We can choose to save our buddy, who we've been friends with a long time. He's got a really, really harebrained scheme because he's a rabbit. Get it? Harebrained. I love it. There's all sorts of little quirky little humor things in the game that really pull it together. Uh, and then there is the Sky Ripper, which is a legendary weapon or an ancient artifact of some sort. And we can rebuild that, or we can save our buddy. Um, I think for, for this video, we're going to go build the Sky Ripper. I kind of like it a little bit more. Uh, played through both storylines, and this one's got a little more action in it for the first Every 15 minutes. Every child knew about the Sky Ripper. The Transcendent Emperor had buried its pieces. What could have brought them to light? This Emperor, Isengrim III, had once been kind, but he'd gone mad. And now he was conducting secret, obscene rituals to bring back the Lost Gods. Had he somehow summoned the long-lost components of the legendary weapon out of the deep places of the Earth? It was more than Renardo could fathom. But if he could find a legendary weapon, he would use it. Aha. Uh -huh. So you get backstory on how the weapon was As hidden. As he set foot on the island, Renardo could not help but feel a tinge of guilt. He'd left Lapino behind. He hoped the Mad Rabbit had somehow escaped the Ravens. He hoped they hadn't eaten him. If they had, he hoped they hadn't eaten him alive. Why had he chosen the Sky Ripper? Renardo never made plans that required constant vigilance. He was a hero. He didn't think too much. He just went with his gut and hoped it all worked out. The Sky Ripper was a long shot. 
he'd have to devote himself to it. No side journeys, no rescuing old friends. That was against his nature. Could he stick with it? It was time to make a new sword. Cool. So, if we pick the Sky Ripper now, we have to go all out to, to find the Sky Ripper as we wander around the world. You can see it's kind of an interesting little design on the world. There's like invisible walls that you can't pass, um, but you kind of have a general idea of where to go. But there's a whole bunch of things to explore too. That's kind of cool. Um, there's a dodge. We'll get into some combat here very quickly. I wanted to collect all these. Bernardo had opened the chest and Jack in the Box jumped out. Jack in the Boxes, they gave him the Wiggins. <laughs> the Wiggins. So, controls are pretty simple. The thumbsticks move. A buttons dash, X is slice. And then there's some other things like a fire stab that's that's based on her sword. You can see the R2 up in the top left corner under the sword. Uh, and then Y is like a hook, like a grapple hook that can pull in people. Just agree to disagree, said Donato. No? Aha, see, you can chain things together. There's a combat multiplier up there. There it is. Oh, nice block there, buddy. And the final guy here. Perfect. We got a pretty good multiplier. A combo of 22. So that's kind of cool. What is this? Door opens to a passageway. Ooh. Some sort of sentry bot or something up in the, in the hallway. Dun, dun, dun. Okay. Sentry bot. I'm guessing we don't want to go in there. And look, it's a big shiny gyroscopic lamp thing on the wall. We're gonna neutral. Whoa! Shoot! We're gonna neutralize him with the grapple. Wow! Took a lot of damage. Nice. Uh, and a lever or a lever. Firewalls only let you through if they think you're hot enough. So hot. So the firewall up there. Oh, I guess we can go up. That was awesome. This guy's knocked out only temporarily. We can use the sword on the walls, because it's a fire sword, and then we can get in here. So that's cool, too. It's almost like a... What's there? What's there? I don't know. I haven't done this. What do we... One thing I learned is don't go in the light. Shall we dance? Yes. Could the lead raven... Nice. Nice parry attack. Oop, get over here. Ooh, Renato hated warlocks. The way they stayed back and lobbed pain and death from a distance. Cowards. Really dangerous. Oh, I'm out of juice. Okay. No, get out of here. Okay, why don't we just go kill the warlock? That'd be a good idea. Nice. Get wrecked, noob. Earn the plate. Ah, get over here. Stab. Ah, oh, that was cool. Level up too. Very nice. Oh, we got some sort of walkway on the bridges up here. Why was it called Sky Ripper anyway? Was the name just supposed to be badass? Like calling your sword Stormbringer when it didn't actually bring bad weather? The truth behind the Sky Ripper is shrouded in a thick fog. The most believable tale is that the transcendent emperor has used the Sky Ripper to banish Iblis. Then, the T.E. I guess that's the, the Transcendent Emperor. Yep, buried the weapon and vanished. Was it a self-imposed exile to rid the world of the last divine presence? Or was it a price to pay for using such a tremendous power? Could the Sky Ripper and Iblis have deeper connection than just the weapon and its victim? My rituals will summon the Iblis Stone. Perhaps I should worry that they will also cause the Sky Ripper to resurface. If that's the case, I should spare no resources to find it. A weapon that can banish a god is an invaluable bargaining chip, should be the old ones decide to double-cross me. It is their nature to try, but gods are predictable, and I can rely that to always be the one step ahead. It's a secret journal. Cool. Hmm. Hero wall. Hero sword. Ice wall. Ice, you. 
Ice, ice, baby. Dun, 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 dun. I'm gonna break it down now. Uh-oh. Oh. oh. Achievement unlocked. Finders, keepers. You couldn't see that, though. Oh, so we got a... We got a little... Another sword here, but we have... Oh. That's interesting. That sword does work. I'm gonna actually go back here on the left side. Ronaldo felt like he was ready to learn new things. <laughs> Thank goodness he didn't have to go to school for that. Cool. So we've got uh, we got one skill point available, right? And this is the skill tree. We got combo here. We've got some. Uh, these are the dash that we've picked up. Uh, and then there's time reflexes. Slow down time after a successful counter in your next action. That's kind of cool. Uh, and then aggressive defensive. This is kind of like uh, is it a riposte when you you a countering attack? I think so. I'm not positive. Uh, and then we've got like speed, run faster. I'm gonna do the true sword foo, which is kind of like the or the perfect strike, which is um, all right, you get a combo. He missed his old a skills. He welcomed them back like it was at a reunion. Nice. Oh, we're locked out of that. Okay, so if we wouldn't have gone through that that red or orange hero door, we could have gone through there. That's what I did before. I don't know where that guy's gonna go. He didn't even know. Ha, bet you never saw that coming. He didn't. Uh oh, uh huh, uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. Schlink. Oh, that was awesome. That's what I love about this game. It's all about like chaining combos together and finding really cool artifacts. I'm gonna kill all these guys just because I can. Oh, you nerd! <laughs> he almost killed me. I got a different weapon. I'm like almost dead. Whoopsies. Oh boy. Oh boy. Can't be hit. Oh, there I'm dead. Shoots, man. There what happens now? At the end of a long dark tunnel. Mother, you thought? Okay. See, I hadn't died before. But I didn't get hit by a lot of those buzzard things. Oops, missed it. Oh, knocked the two together. That was awesome. He died. Do it. <laughs> Thirty-one combo. Awesome. Ah, uh, then we get some puzzle elements too. A puzzle. Renato loved puzzles, except when he couldn't figure them out. On the other hand, if there was a puzzle, it was probably meant to keep people away from something good. <laughs> puzzles. So this puzzle is pretty easy. I was just exploring to see if there's anything good. Activate. That was new. Most people still use doorknobs. Ooh, is that ore? Yeah, there's ore things sometimes. Ooh, health in this one. Ha! <laughs> health went off the side. Shoots, man. See? That wasn't so hard. Good thing I knew how to do that one. Who got in this one? Health, yes. Could have used that like ten minutes ago. Ooh, and another chest. Wow. Much more ore. Nice. Give me that goop. And we'll go back here. And this is why heroes are called dashing, Renato thought. See? Dashing? Yeah. <laughs> get it? Yeah, I get it. All right. Ooh, what's this thing? Interact. There it was. Sky Ripper's armature. The stuff that dreams are made of. Engineers' dreams, anyway. The device was intricate. No one alive had the skill to make a thing like it. How is it part of a weapon at all? He'd have to ask a scientist. But first, he'd get the second piece. Sky Ripper had a heart. A core that had come to rest on the next island. Well, there was another island he could reach. Zenobia had just invaded it with her father's raven battalions. She must be encamped there still. But fighting Zenobia now, that made no sense at all. He'd already sacrificed one friend to get this, this armature, was it? He didn't need to hurry to face her. She would find him. Hmm, the nemesis. Okay, for some in, er, heh, inexplicable reason, Ronaldo, 
chose Zenobia. Found the armature of the Sky Ripper without the core would just be an empty and useless shell. So we would have basically wasted our buddy, the first guy. Uh, maybe we should go see Zenobia, who had invaded the city nearby. So she's like the Emperor's adopted daughter. Okay, and we need to get the core of the Sky Ripper, obviously. Renardo has found the armature of the Sky Ripper. Without the core, it would just be an empty and useless shell. The only reason one would seek the armature was to build the legendary weapon that had once banished the lost gods. Obviously, Renardo should get the core. So, um, remember when we hit this island, it said, now that we've sacrificed one friend, we have to go all the way and get the, the armature together. It was a no-brainer. He'd sacrificed his old friend Lapino to get the armature. And the armature was useless by itself, only a series of coils and wheels. War demanded sacrifices, and he would make more before the end. He would have to choose the greatest good, no matter how much it cost him. Zenobia. Well, he would see her sooner or later, across a battlefield or a sword's point before all this was over. He was sure of that. The power was in the core. Obviously, he had to get the core. Very cool. Well, thanks for playing. This was a short glimpse of stories, The Path of Destinies, coming to PlayStation 4 early 2016, uh, and Steam, if you wanted to know that. Uh, so yeah, guys, if you want me to continue this once this game comes out, let me know. I could also, if you guys wanted, I could play the other side of it and rescue the friends. It's a different maps and everything, too, or rescue Lapino. It's a different map and kind of plays differently. Uh, allows us to build weapons and um, armatures, or uh, gems as well, so you can see a little bit more of the game. Uh, so definitely let me know down below in the video description, or not the video description, in the comments below the video description if you'd like to see more, and keep your stick on the ice. We'll catch you next time.